1,600 metres, they're all set, and away they go in the summer pudding, and I thought a little slow out of the gate there was Emerald Princess, but it's quickly moved to the inside rail as they cover the ground to the 14, and it's Bonetta who's gone to the lead. So Bonetta leads the way, has it by a couple of lengths out there. Racing away in the second spot is Magical Flight, and outside of that River Carares, then Emerald Gina after that, and Silver Sanctuaries at the rail, about five or six lengths off the leader, then Julia Tango, who's racing in behind that. Say Yes is further back in the field with Terra Time, they nine or ten lengths off that leader. They've been followed by Lady Calavera further back in the field. Crimson Princess about 10-11 off the leader with Emerald Princess, who's racing in behind that lot. One of the trailers, what a honey, as they start their way around the turn now. They have 800 metres left to go, and Sister Light's also at the back of the field. So it's Bonetta in front who leads the way. Bonetta from River Carares, who's back in second. Magical Flight is on the inside. Silver Sanctuary, four off the leader. Emeritina, Julia Tango, Say Yes, is back along the inside. Crimson Princess, they got seven or eight lengths to find on the leader. Terror Time is also further back in the field. Emerald Princess, Sister Light's trying to quicken. They are about eight or nine lengths off the leader as they go past the 300 now. Bonetta, Magical Flight, and Emerald Gina's come out the pack, then Silver Sanctuary. It's Emerald Gina's come home well. Silver Sanctuary between them. Bonetta is still right there. They go to the line. The three of them is one or Silver Sanctuary. Won the summer pudding. Close for second. Bonetta, Emerald Gina's there as well. They were followed by Magical Flight. Look at the head on, you'll see where Silver Sanctuary is, goes hunting to the inside past the 2300. And at this point in time, obviously a bit of concern will be fine. The gap, there's obviously a gap there right now, but you'll see there as they start to lean and it becomes a bit bumping, they're boring, all those sorts of things. But Silver Sanctuary's got the class and the ability and has come through to secure the seventh race. Well, there we go. The Summer Pudding uh, Handicap has just been run and won by Silver Sanctuary. JP Fandemeva has been aboard her the whole time. She came out on debut. She won and she's just progressed through the ranks. But tight for galloping room in the end there. But she sustained her finish in the closing stages and ended up winning a good race. Yeah, definitely. Um, the last time we were very unlucky. Um, she just hit a bit of a flat spot and then uh, she ran home strongly. Um, Muzi just held on and won. Um, but to the new little bit better. Uh, funny filly, um, have to time it right with her. And um, I got some interference from actually both sides, but um, she actually enjoyed it. As soon as you got a little bit of the hammering, she just put her ears flat back and she gave me more. So um, obviously well done to the whole team. Well done to Mr. Kaki from back room. Absolutely. Well, with a lightweight, just 52 and a half kilos, she had to be the massive runner over here. And she, she came through it really nicely and she saw it out nicely too. Yeah, well, like you said, Nico, we had a nice uh, lightweight, um, had a nice draw, I was drawn four. So I was always going to be right right about there somewhere, box seat. I um, thought the pace was nice and, and uh, honest, I won't say too far, just thought nice and, nice and honest. And then um, from my box seat, it was pretty easy. And congratulations yesterday, lovely win uh, down in, in the Cape yesterday, and uh, things going well there for you too. Yeah, thank you, Nicky. Um, it's obviously nice getting support from big trainers like Mr. Dukok and big trainers like the Snaith team. Makes things much easier. Well, congratulations. Another feature race win. I think we've got a trophy for you. Um, the trophy presentation, Sharice Sham. Are we getting Sharice to come and present the awards here? This is the winning rider award. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to JP van der Meeve. And I just speak thank you to my sponsor, Bryson Auctioneers. Thank you. Thanks. Let's speak to the winning trainer, Mike de Kock. A great race for him here, first and third. Uh, much. Let's talk about the third runner first, because that's a much better run. But you you, ba you backed it up. Um, you backed it up last time out after the break, but a much better performance today um, by her. Yes. Um, change of tactic from from Burnett. Um, I think she'll even go further. You know, with that running from a forward position. Um, it was a good ride of Samanga, um, but it was a good win with this filly. She was eight pounds out at the weights. Um, 
but we needed to see if we had a Guinness filly on, on our hands or not. And I think she's she seems to be right. I thought it was a, on the minimum side for her, which I mean, a form does suggest that. But she certainly is um, a filly on the up. Uh, she's also going to be a filly that's going to stay for sure, um, uh, given the uh, uh, the female line. So um, uh, yeah, plenty to look forward to. Yeah, full sister to uh, safe passage. Um, you know that's tremendous pedigree, and of course, Drogans did send them to you after the exploits of safe passage. How did he take the run in the in the charity mile? Yeah, he took he took it well. I was uh, I thought it'd be closer, but um, um, you know it could be a little bit of a, a bit of a flat run. He's on the up definitely. Um, and going the right way. So I am look, look forward to seeing him in the, in the big one. I think he's going to be very competitive. And, you know, just again, well done to, to Drakenstein Gaynor. That's, a, you know, a, a good breeding effort. And uh, what a mare. She seems to be popping them out and um, yes. they, they know how to run. Yeah, she was very, very good in her day. But are you going to collect all this uh, silverware on behalf of the owners too? But congratulations, Mike. A, a very good race for you. Thank you. Cheers. Okay, so here is Charisse. Sham to present the uh, trophy, the old uh, Syringa handicap. It's now known as the Summer Pudding handicap, but these are the trophies. So that is the trophy there for you. Now we've got the winning trophy for the groom. Um, well done to your groom. You'll give that to him. Thanks, Johannes um, Malindi is the groom's name. So congratulations to Mike DeCock and the whole team behind DeCock Racing, uh, as well as to Betway, their sponsors, of course, who sponsor them out at Reinke's Fontaine. The running of the Summer Pudding, handic Summer Pudding handicap, I have to make mention of the runner up because Emery. Gina carried 60 kilos and had to give the winning filly seven and a half kilos. That's an awful amount of weight to give her, but she's run her heart out as Emirate Gina, and she must be certainly penciled in for some of these races at better weight conditions for her. Tremendous run from the second horse.